Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and I'm really excited to share this mini album that I have been working on. I have a full start to finish on this album that I will play here in a moment for those of you that like to watch the process of it. If you don't like to stay tuned for the process, I'm going to do a quick flip through. And I've used so many gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft flowers, products, pearls, trims. So check the description box for a list of those. I will also list them on my blog as well with detailed photos. And please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll link all their social media links down in the description box. They have so many amazing products and really, really great prices. So for the inside of this album, I use this paper pad from the paper studio that I got from Hobby Lobby, Blanc Boutique, and it's all pearlized papers. That back piece is not part of the papers, but look how gorgeous these papers are. So I knew right away when I saw this, I wanted to do a wedding album. And I also did include some journaling cards from Simple Stories, the wedding snap collection. So you'll see quite a few. And for the outside, I use this gorgeous fabric. I also purchased this from Hobby Lobby as well. I knew I wanted to make a mini album when I saw this fabric, absolutely beautiful. I used one of the $1.50 frames from Michaels and as you'll see in the start to finish video on this, I ripped off the back piece because it just added a little too much bulk. And I wanted to, I did want to add white flowers to the front of this because of the hints of white that are in this fabric. So I chose the white frame. I used some Knitwit Collections paper in the background. This is from the Authentique Collection. And I added this beautiful saying that I bought from Silhouette Online Store. It says, and they lived happily ever after. And as you can see, I used these gorgeous pink mist open roses from Wild Orchid Crafts, some of the large rose buds. I added some cabochon flowers to give it some texture. Here's one here as well. And then I used some small open roses, some hip rosebuds, and I added these new little heart pearl embellishments. I just got them in my design team box. They are so cute. So I have one there as well. On the side here, I used a Tim Holtz ornate frame. I added the word Mr. and Mrs. with some of the self-adhesive pearls. Here's some more of this gorgeous fabric. Absolutely stunning. For the inside of my album, this album measures approximately seven and a half by five and a half. And let me get a, that glue string gone. On the side here, I used a, a Martha Stewart punch, the Lacy Edge punch and then some of this gorgeous flat back pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, more of this beautiful paper. Check out the detailed photos at the end. Hopefully you'll be able to see this a little bit better. So these are all from, like I said, the Simple Stories Wedding Snap Collection. We have Our, our Engagement, When We Knew It Was Love, and these are perfect to add journaling and then photos on the back as well. And then for the front cover I added note to her, note to him, so the bride and groom can write a little note to each other as a keepsake. Those slide in here on the side. My album base is made from Nina White's cardstock, and all of them have a side pull-out mat that I use that same lacy Martha Stewart punch. This is seven by about five and a quarter, so this will hold a lot of journaling or several photos or two larger photos on the front and back. On this side, I use this organza rose trimming. You see me use this a lot. I love this trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also use some white sweetheart blossoms, and then I scattered a few pearls in between. I added these flat back flower pearls to the top, and then here's the journaling cards. Um, these are templates I'll show you in a moment for some frames. They're pretty ugly to look at, but I do them so the person can set this on top of their photo, trace it, and cut it out, and be able to fit it on the frames that I've included in this album. So I like to just kind of hide those in a pocket. This is the Just Married, again, perfect for photo on the back or journaling, the cake, and then look how cute this is, Mr. and Mrs. So those just slide in here. Photos can also slide in these pockets as well. 
On this side, I used one of the journaling cards. It says, once in a while, right in the middle of an ordinary life, life gives us a fairy tale. I used some Nouveau drops, white and um, duck egg blue, I believe it is. And I used some hug snug seam binding. And then this is an accordion fold for more photos. This is a beautiful oval frame that I cut out from the Cameo, and this is one of the ones that I would that I had a photo uh, template for, and it's left open on top, so they can trace their photo, add that in here, and then glue this down if they wish to. I added a beautiful cluster here. I have a a um, off white chrysanthemum. I have a gardenia here with one of those little hearts pearl embellishments in the center. I have some sweetheart blossoms and I have one of these stick pins that Wild Orchid Crafts has and then also one of the flat back glitter balls. In this album I gave myself a half inch gusset knowing that I wanted to add some flower clusters and I normally don't like to add any paper to the center of the gussets but being that it was there was a lot of white I had to disguise that white so I used um, a 3 8 of an inch piece down the center of each gusset. On this side I use some beautiful trim and this flower flat back trim again from Wild Orchid Crafts, some sweetheart blossoms, and I made a little side belly band to hold some more of the journaling cards. This one says our wedding day with this ring I be wed and then some of the hearts perfect again for journaling or photos on the back. On this side, I used one of the elements that come with the um, Snap collection. It, as you can see, it says Just Married. And I did double it up since it's holding some journaling cards. Such a beautiful collection. And I chose this collection because it was very soft, so there wasn't too much color going on in the album. I wanted to keep the album very soft. So with the hints of blue and gray, I thought it was perfect. On this side, I designed a little scallop heart again in my cameo. I doubled it for some thickness and cut half of it off to use it as a pocket. And here's the journaling cards that it holds. I really love, look at that paper, that pearlized paper is so pretty. I really love how this album came out. On this side I used some silver tape and then some of that black excuse me, flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts, some of the ivory hearts, again a pocket that's perfect to hold photos, and here's the journaling cards. I absolutely love this little mason jar. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Here is a wedding checklist. Set a date, set a budget, so they can check those off, and then another journaling card. So those just go right back in the pocket. On this page, again, this is a cameo cut. It's a bracket edge, and I don't want to bend it up, but I did score it so the person that receives this album can easily bend each one of them up. They're all scored, and they can trace and add photos or journaling to these, and it's open all the way to the back. On this side, I used a beautiful Spellbinders frame, and that was one of the other templates that you saw on the front, so they can cut out the template and the photo will slide behind this cluster. I added a small corner piece so it'll slide under. So none of this is glued to where they are adding their photo. And then same with these little hearts. They are only attached on the left side so the photo will slide under. And on the last page I have this beautiful white cotton lace and I added it with some of this pearl drop trim again from Wild Orchid Crafts. A few of the sweetheart blossoms and here's the journaling cards in here, the cake, and they lived happily ever after. I thought that was perfect for the last page. And lastly, this side pocket also holds a few more journaling cards, as you can see, more uh, journaling prompts, best day ever, favorite moments, and some more of that same beautiful flat back trim. So I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish. I will play some music. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. They have the most amazing products in their shop. Thanks so much for watching.
Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I am making a mini album. I already have most of it made. I had this already previously made for another project, but it ended up not using it. So I'm going to use it in today's project. As you can see, I've covered some chipboard in white Nina cardstock, and this album is seven and a half by five and three quarters. It has a two and a half inch spine and I do sell these blank albums. I'll link a video down in the description box if you'd like more information on that. I sell pre-made albums in different colors, ready to go, ready to alter. This one still has some work to be done on it. So I'm going to do that in today's project. I already have my hinge made and I made five pockets and I gave myself a one half inch gusset on these. I'm using this beautiful, beautiful fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I will also be using a paper collection from Hobby Lobby that I thought would go well with this. This is it's by the Paper Studio and it's all pearl finished papers. So this is going to be a anniversary or wedding type album. Look how beautiful that paper is. So let me go ahead and put this in fast play. If you have any questions, please let me know and check out Wild Orchid Crafts for all their amazing products. Mm -hmm. 